Hi, what's up guys? In uh, this video I'm gonna show you how you can use the mapping editor and how you can map merge fields from uh, uh, draft to columns or dynamic values. Uh, so first uh, we are going to create some uh, uh, sample uh, data. So to be on the same page just go to templates and we're gonna be using uh, the membership cards template. When you use this template, add-on creates a sample sheet called membership uh, membership cards. Uh, it creates also a sample draft, and it configures everything for you. See, or it configures uh, mapping as well as uh, output configuration. And we're gonna look at how the mapping looks like, and we uh, gonna extend the sample draft with some new merge fields. So. Uh, everything has been set up. Now if you go here, uh, you can click Open Draft. It will take you to Gmail and uh, opens the draft. Uh, actually, this might not work all the time. Sometimes simply the draft won't get open. In that case, you can just simply go to your, go to your draft folder and you'll find the draft here, the membership cards. Uh, so as you can see, we already have here a bunch of merge field. So here we have name, we have here QR code and here below the membership card we have a bunch of other uh, drafts. And let's uh, take a look how those uh, merge fields are configured. So when you scroll down here and you click on the merge fields, it will open so-called a mapping editor. The mapping editor is meant to be used to map the merge fields which are in the selected draft to column. So you uh, can use the editor to tell the add-on like, hey, I, I have here this merge field and I would like to take values from this column and merge them as a text, QR code or image. So when you open the mapping editor here on the left side, you have a list of all merge fields from the, uh, from the draft, from the draft, selected draft. Uh, if you do not see a merge field here, make, make sure it's uh, enclosed in a double curly brackets, otherwise it's not recognized by the add-on. And now you can see how all those uh, uh, merge fields are configured by the add-on. So in this case, when you click on each merge field, you see like the name, yeah, it takes data from the first name column and merge them as a, as a text values only and does not uh, change uh, casing. Uh, for the QR, data are taken from the card ID column. In this case, yeah, are merged as a QR code and here are additional options for QR code. Uh, I'll be covering all these other values in the next video. So we're going to go deeper, uh, uh, deep there here. Just let's quickly, uh, uh, I will just quickly walk through, through the uh, mapping editor. Yes, yeah, so all other these uh, other three fields are merged as a text value in this case as uppercase, and finally we are here we have here these uh, uh, date time values. Uh, there is always last option in the drop down list. It's a dynamic value. This is super handy when you would like to insert some values at run runtime, typically uh, date time values. So the day. Yeah, will be inserted. We'll insert the current day, hour, minute, second, and year. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much it for the, uh, the uh, default mapping. And what are we going to do now? When I go back to the draft, we are going to add new merge fields. Uh, you can add merge fields here. So let's say you'd like to have here also an ID. As we already have the ID here and the ID is configured in the mapping editor, you don't have to configure it again in the mapping editor. Basically, the add-on will replace all occurrences of the merge field. The same for surname, for example. We can, I would like to have here name and surname. Oops. And as we already have here the surname uh, merge field and it, that, that merge field is mapped, this will be also uh, merged and no need to configure anything. But I would like to now add a new merge field. Let's say, let's add something like expiry 
date and we will add a expiry expiry date merge field let's make it a little bit bigger and we can also change color looks good and that's it we, ju we are just adding one new merge field draft has been saved and what do we need to do now we added a new merge field then we need to add a new column where we would like to take the data from so let's say 10 21 11 21 and let's copy those values yeah and the last step what do we need to do actually when i now uh, try to generate uh, add-on will throw an error like there is an unmapped merge field simply the rule is all merge fields must be mapped mapped into either to uh, columns or as a dynamic value if the add-on discovers unmapped uh, uh, merge field it will throw an error and you have to uh, either remove it or configure it in this case i would like to configure it so i need to go to sheet configuration open the mapping editor and just map the merge field in this case to a column okay so in the mapping editor again if you if there is an unmapped uh, uh, merge field and you would like, like to save it and then again throws a warning like there is an unmapped uh, merge field and must be mapped so in this case we are going to take the values from the expiry date column and again we can keep the defaults and as would like to merge it as the, just as a simple text value and that's pretty much it we can save it and we can see how that's gonna look like in this case i'm just merging two drafts and i will select this option selected rows only and i will process only these two rows yeah. merging in the dra into draft uh, mode in that mode is super handy when you would like to you want to test your merge configuration so you add a new merge fields or you remove merge fields or you adjust uh, the mapping and you would like to see the results without sending uh, emails okay drafts are created let's take a look so now when i go to my drafts folder we have here two new drafts when i click on it here we have in the subject we have the card id here we have the surname and here at the end we have the expiry date okay so this is super simple once you get used to it how to use the mapping editor it should be pretty straightforward for you so you add a new merge field you need to map it and just as your merge, config merge configuration and obviously all these settings are saved and automatically restored when you reopen the add-on so you just do it need to do it just uh, uh, just uh, once okay so that's pretty much it uh, thank you for watching please subscribe if you have any questions leave a comment and in the next videos i'm gonna be uh, covering more in detail the mapping editor and we'll, we will walk uh, through all options which are available in the mapping editor thank you for watching and happy merging